Iceland. The barren island in the North Atlantic with countless volcanoes. This is a paradise for volcano scientists. When I stand here and look at this, I'm struck by how much we don't know about what's going on inside volcanoes. And we really need to understand more to be able to save lives. Volcanoes still hold many secrets. Steffi Burkhardt from Uppsala University is in Iceland to map the innermost heart of volcanoes, where 1,000 degree magma collects in its chamber. Volcanoes are one of nature's most deadly and destructive forces. They can destroy cities and change the climate. But volcanoes can also bring forth new land masses and deposits of much sought after elements like gold, silver, and platinum. Most often, it is when the tectonic plates move that magma is forced up from the Earth's interior and volcanoes form. There are different types of volcanoes, most of which are at the bottom of the ocean. Some are quite flat, but the classic look is like a cone. As magma forces its way up into a mountain, it can accumulate and form a melted pocket, a magma chamber, which is filled to the breaking point and then a great eruption. And that's exactly what has happened here at this giant volcano where Steffi's research team searches for samples of rock from the magma chamber. Have a look at this. It looks like they're olivines. You reckon? They're green minerals. Yeah. It's around a pyroxene type thing, though. So it's a xenocrist? Mm, I don't know. The team is actually working in the belly of the magma chamber itself. A glacier has worn away the surface, so the researchers are now what was once one to two kilometers down inside the old volcano. We're actually in the middle of a magma chamber now. And we see the magma chamber roof between this reddish rock, which was the magma once, and these black layered lavas that were the surrounding rock. At the ridge, you can see how the black walls surround the red chamber. Steffi is doing research on magma chambers from extinct volcanoes because these old chambers and their rocky remains can help us to understand the over 1,000 active volcanoes existing in the world today. It's the magma chamber that is driving the volcanic activity. So if we understand the magma chamber dynamics, then we can better predict how the volcano is going to behave. Are you ready to send it up, Please check it out the map. I'm ready. To map the chamber, Steffi's team uses drones to photograph its distribution. Steffi takes the information from these measurements back to her lab in Uppsala. Here she renders a 3D model of the chamber. So this drone picture is going to help us to understand how the magma chamber formed in the first place and how it was feeding magma to an eruption at the surface. There is much that is completely unknown about the magma chambers. And recently, Steffi made a sensational discovery as she was exploring another extinct volcano in Iceland. It was the second day in the field. We were doing our measurements when I saw a rock lying on the, on the ground, and it didn't look like anything I'd seen before. So I picked it up and I thought, wow, this is interesting. This stone that came from inside a chamber was full of cracks. But magma is a fluid and thus cracking shouldn't be possible. So this is the rock sample and you see it's completely smashed. It consists almost only of fractures. And these fractures they formed when this was molten magma, which is really unique. To solve the riddle, 
Steffi's team take the stone back to the lab and slice it into thin slices, revealing the inner crystals in the stone. They then examine the fragments under a microscope. It was after the total confusion in the field where we didn't really know what was going on and where these fractures came from. We looked at them in the microscope and then we understood that this is the frozen in time fracturing process that we see in molten magma. It, it was just this wonderful feeling when, when suddenly all the puzzle pieces fit together and you see the picture. What Steffi discovered is a whole new paradoxical characteristic of magma, that it can crack even though it is a fluid. And this opens the door for completely new knowledge about volcanoes. Scientists already know that cracks occur in lava flows on the surface of the volcano as the 1,000 degree molten rock cools and solidifies. But Steffi discovered that as the magma compresses inside the volcano, it can also burst and then release gases that cause the magma to solidify. As a result of this, very small earthquakes occur that should be measurable on the volcano's surface. And with the help of these measurements, we could say better how big the magma chamber is and how it's behaving, which could help to um, predict whether a volcano maybe has an eruption or not. But these findings may also reveal something more, a question that has long puzzled researchers. How is gold ore formed? Because scattered within the magma, there are precious metals like gold, silver, and platinum, although their concentration is very low. So the precious metals that are, they are finely distributed in the, in the magma, so that's why we can't really extract them. But they first have to be precipitated in the same place. And we think that this precipitation happens during the fracturing process. Precious metals and devastation. Volcanoes can be both an asset and a threat. And with every day spent among the volcanoes, scientists reveal new knowledge about this ancient power that can create both life and death.